Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I have excellent news, everyone. This video right here, right now, is my 100th video. And that should count as a decent milestone on behalf of my for this particular video, I'm going to introduce um, three different things, like two heroes and one villain, supposedly. Sorry for the hesitation, people. And um, if you guys bear with me, I'll introduce these three characters, and they should be prodigious to you guys. You know? Just bear with me, please. Here's the first one. Petunia. Real name? None. Height, 107 stories to vast. Weight, unrevealed to vast. Status, hero, and queen of the mega fairies. Base, fable, mole. Intelligence, three and a half reigns. Behavior, lovely and willful. She always enjoys her everyday life. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, iron objects. She suffers from binge eating disorder. Powers. She has great size and strength, can fly at great speeds, vast magical powers, and mass alteration. Though she doesn't have a healing factor, her body weight serves as protection from most threats. She can also survive unaided in space, along with being able to summon swarms of mega fairies. Eyes, blackish blue. Hair, blackish blue and flowing. Origin. Petunia is the native queen of the mega fairies of the planet Fable, which is a fairy tale planet. Not only is she the largest and most beautiful fairy in existence, but she's also the thickest, with her obesity serving as a third of her beauty. One time, Petunia made the mistake of eating something that led to her getting a stomach virus. After a few weeks of non-stop vomiting, she heard the voice of a man that seemed charming, although she couldn't see him. It turned out to be Micro, the smallest creature in existence, who arrived to help her with her problem. While traveling inside of her body, Micro had eventually found a piece of iron and vaporized it. Finally cured of her problem, Petunia marked Micro as her potential lover up to their wedding, since Micro is fond of unique women. Since then, Petunia would spend her time with fellow friends Rox and Queen Nina, along with being the founder and leader of a hero team known simply as the Bloated Bunch. Costume. She wears a deep red latex suit designed to fit her. Teams. Solitary leads the Bloated Bunch and other heroes. Original inspiration, fairies. The next one I'm going to introduce is a villain that is a notable enemy of Quantum, in the like at all. So bear with me, please. Quantumite Hounds. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 4 feet at the shoulder. Weight, 355 pounds. Status, villain, and servants of Olga. Base, Space Fortress, Mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior, savage and craving. They'll do all that they can to destroy Quantum. Lethality. As above, they are utterly relentless. Weaknesses. They have bad anger issues. Powers. They have great strength, sharp claws and teeth, acute senses, and radiate with quantumite energy. They also travel in large packs. Eyes. Vivid green. Hair. Deep green. Spiky and scruffy. Origin. One time. Olga learned that Quantum adopted a Hyperion cat named Hyper, and she decided to counter her archenemy in an attempt to destroy her. After some progress, Olga created a pack of murderous bloodhounds fused with Quantumite energy. After commanding the Quantumite hounds to rip Hyper the shreds, the hounds sadly lost when Hyper trapped them in a burning building that crumbled. Outraged of this unnecessary outcome, Olga recovered her Quantumite Hounds for future use against Quantum and her allies. Costume. They are covered in deep green fur. 
Teams. Solitary for Olga and other villains. Forge Inspiration. Predatory Hounds. The last one is a character that I had to change over two-thirds of her backstory and such in order to make it more unique. And I just hope that it would be sympathetic for you guys and such. If that makes any sense. Reba. Real name? Robotic Entity of Beautiful Affection. Height, 6 feet 7 inches. Weight, 277 pounds. Status, Hero and Expert Defender. Base, Default Earth, Mobile. Intelligence. Four Brains. Behavior. Loving, protective, and cheerful. She'd always love her creator. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Being torn apart and malfunctions. Powers. She has bionic limbs, a strong healing factor, and uncanny reasoning skills. She also wields an arsenal of built-in weapons. Eyes, lime green, hair, deep red, and a braided ponytail. Origin. Jack Johns was a young man who had a hard time finding the perfect lover. After a time of thinking, Jack decided to use his manufacturing skills to make one. After all the hard work, he kissed his creation on the lips, which brought his soulmate to life. Naming her as Reba, Jack took her to a fancy restaurant until a band of Getty Gang members stormed in, and Reba was doomed to watch her creative creator be shot dead. Eventually, Reba decided to avenge his heartless death by stopping crime before it gets any worse for the sake of her cherished beloved. Costume she simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular, just whatever she feels like wearing. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Forge inspiration, cyborgs, and love. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three things, and I hope you guys are excited with the fact that this is my 100th video. Like, not, I, I mean excluding the miscellaneous videos, but it's still a 100th video in terms of my, like, Leviathan universe and such, if that makes any sense. So, um, I hope you guys have a decent summer vacation and Memorial Day and all that stuff. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below and share if you want. It's your choice. You know how it is. So I hope you guys have a fine rest of your time, and until next time, in transmission.